Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly. Animatedforum.com, Realillusion.com. Uh, somebody asked me this real quick. I want to show you how to do this. Um, they were trying to get the Morningstar wings working. I've tried to get these in the past by bringing these over uh, with 3D Exchange and using the bones here in them. And it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's not something I'd really want to try again. Uh, so I was playing around with this a little bit more, and I found how you want to do this. Okay, so here's how to do it. So this is a, here's the Morningstar wings, and I initially loaded them in in the Genesis Eight female, and and then I unparented them, uh, and then deleted the female. So that's all I have of the wings. I I I don't know that you have to do all that. You might be able to just load the wings in on their own and not worry about having them come in on the female. But at least this way they're positioned correctly. So. Uh, from here, you can then easily attach them to uh, a character. So that's one way of doing it. So you can go through that process, bring the female in, you know, bring the wings in on top of her, unparent them, and then delete her. Or you can just bring the wings in. But either way, when the wings come in, they don't have any uh, morphine. Well, they have very few morphine capabilities. So these are the four morphs that are available. Just a, a little tiny bit of, of shaping on the morphs. And the guy that was trying to use it was trying to you know, trying to bring all the morphs in through through my um, program that shows how to do that. So you can use the morphs if you want and, and adjust the wings the way you want. You can even bring these morphs in through, uh, as I showed how to do that on the, on the morph. But uh, this isn't really all that valuable because this isn't really what you want to do. What you really want to do is posing. You want to do things like have the wings flap. So if you do this, you know, the flapping of the wings. So how do you do this part is what you want to do. Well, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, it, it involves a little bit more work, but you're going to have to, uh, first you're going to export this. So you want to export your normal. This is the, the base wing position. And then for each of the positions that you want, like wings back, you want to export that as an OBJ. And you're going to export these as OBJs. And I've shown this in a lot of my things. These are the standard export OBJ um, settings. So I want you to see, the no these are the, just the normal settings. So those are the settings for OBJ, we always want to do that. And, and even my uh, routine to find all the maps will then work with these OBJs. So that's that's another advantage. So, uh, so you export one with the normal and one with the wings back or whatever you want. You know, you can, you can do all the different ones. You can put any kind of combination. But what I would do is keep them simple. So there's wings down, I would do that one. Wings back, wings down, you know, there's another wings down, you know. I'm not going to go through all these because I just did, if I do the one, you'll see how to do all of them, okay? So then you go to exchange. You bring in the normal, so this is the, the base or the normal base position or whatever. And you know how I like to do this, guys. You've seen, seen my videos before. I like to bring up iClone and then I go into Exchange. I just go apply to iClone, just apply the base object and then it just drags, it just automatically creates it into iClone, just drops it over there automatically after it thinks about it a little bit. Got to think about it a little bit. Okay, so there's your base object. So now, in order to get the morphs from the base object, we go to Morph Creator. So we're going to go to here, Morph Creator. And this takes the base object. And what this will do is allow us to load in all those morphs on top of that object. So it's loading up Morph Creator. There it is. Uh, I, I'm not going to give a complete tutorial on Morph Creator. It's pretty self-explanatory. But basically, you just uh, load in your morphs. So there's a plus. I'm just adding another morph onto here. Uh, leave that alone. Z axis up. And if the morph was created off the same object, which it is, it'll come in just fine. Okay, so there's the morph. Now, the problem is we don't just have one morph. We have all these little morphs. This is uh, kind of equivalent to all the different bones that control this. But we can still do this. So if we do this, we have to first... Wings back is the morph we want. So we're going to pull all these back here for all the different parts. And you'll, if you're watching the little screen here, you'll see all the little different parts on left and right. All, these will be equivalent to adjusting all the little bones separately, which is why you don't want to do it via bones because it's just, it'll just take you freaking forever to do. So uh, there. Okay, so now the wing's back. So we have that. All right. So now we want to bake this as a morph, bake it and call it some name, wings back. Now, this should supposedly remove all those source sliders. It's supposed to remove all these sub-sliders. It's not working for me. I, I don't know if this is a bug or what's going on. I'm going to have to talk to the guys at Real Illusion and see what's going on. But in any case, 
it, what it did is it creates a general morph. So now we have this general morph that works and adjusts all those submorphs. It really should get rid of these submorphs as well. That's what the whole intent of that, getting rid of it, but it's not doing that for some odd reason. So, uh, so now we can just send and replace or update the morph. If we send and replace it, what it will do is create a separate object here. So now you have two objects. So if you do that, you're going to get rid of the first object because you don't want that anymore. And then now that you have this object with the morphs, you can go ahead and use the morph animator and animate it. So, you know, you go to the position here, a little bit here, and then you go wings back. Whoops, I've got to grab the slider. Wings back, and then we go a little bit more forward. And I, I could even use a Python script and we'd have this uh, animation to where it would do this automatically, automatically. But I'm not going to go through all of this, but, you know, you get the general idea. And then when you play your animation, you've got the... You, you've got the wings animated. So that's basically how you, you deal with, uh, with wings. <laughs> with, with At least these, these are the dad's morning star wings for both the male and the female. These happen to be the female ones, but the male ones are very similar. And note that if you have the, the female or the male ones, you can, you can use them uh, on either character. It doesn't really matter in terms of uh, if we go into content. I'll show you. Just to finish it off, just for some of you that may be wondering how that would work we would go in to bring the base female in and she's already positioned correctly because again this was how it would have been positioned in there and so then what we would do with the wings is you would just go up to here and modify and we would just go to here and we would just uh, attach them to probably her spine somewhere uh, that that might be the right one you might have to experiment with the spine to figure out exactly how you want it attached and then as she's flapping her wings, then we would uh, go ahead and animate her uh, moving up, something like that. So, you know, <laughs> that, would, that would be the sort of thing, you know. <laughs> I don't know. You get the idea. All right. Anyway, that's, uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask on my uh, YouTube channel or on the forum, and we'll see you on the forums.